Oh, yes. Come on in and have a seat right there. Yes. Now, on the phone, you said that you were interested in purchasing a new genie bottle. Is that correct? Okay. And um, may I ask uh, what's prompting the change? Are you looking for a new um, neighborhood or um, is the family expanding? Do we hear the pitter-patter of tiny little genie baby feet? Just looking for a little bit of a change? Okay, well, yeah, that's a pretty common reason to upgrade one's genie bottle. Um, will you be requiring any financing? We do have many financing options available if you're in need of assistance. You'll be paying cash? Okay, well, that should be just fine. Um, gold or silver, may I ask? Gold, okay, yes, well. Gold is the gold standard, of course. It's accepted pretty much anywhere, so that should be just fine. Now, before I start pulling any specific bottles for you, why don't you tell me a little bit about exactly what you're looking for? Um, for starters, do you have uh, a minimum square inchage that you would like in your bottle? You're flexible? Okay, um, what is your bottle price range? Mm-hmm. So kind of somewhere in the middle, middling area, nothing too expensive, but you can afford something beyond the, the cheaper bottles. Okay. Now, are you interested in a bottle that is pre-furnished, or will you be bringing your own furnishings to the bottle? You'll be bringing your own furnishings, all right. And, um, for the interior layout of the bottle, are you just looking for a totally open bottle, you know, like a, a blank canvas that you can make your own, or would you like it partitioned off into, you know, various sections that you can use as rooms? You're looking for the open layout? Okay, uh, that is actually great because, um, most bottles do come with the open layout. They're a little bit less expensive that way, and uh, that is the way that most of the bottles come, so that that does give you more options. Um, as far as style, uh, have you thought about what kind of style you would like at this point? Nothing particular? You just like to, to see a few and see what kind of jumps out at you? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Now, as far as the makeup of the bottle, do you have uh, certain materials that you'd like to have it be comprised of? Pretty much anything goes as long as you like how it looks. Okay, again, that's uh, definitely um, a good thing. The more flexible you can be, uh, the more options you'll have. You've actually chosen a very good time to come in and look at new genie bottles because um, there are quite a few bottles on the market right now. Uh, it really is a buyer's market, so um, you're going to find that you have many options, so I'm sure you won't have any trouble finding one that really speaks to you for your new dwelling. So, um, one more question. Uh, is this a solo bottle or um, do you have a genie significant other who will be sharing this bottle with you? You prefer to have your own bottle and your significant other has theirs as well. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, again, you sound very flexible, so um, why don't I just uh, pull up a few bottles and tell you the features and you can go through them and um, see what one calls to you, what you think looks uh, cozy and comfortable, okay? Okay. Well, um, why don't we start with this one? So this is a white porcelain bottle. Um, it has a lovely design on the outside. It has, you know, a textured raised pattern. Uh, the top, the entryway of the bottle has a lovely, it's almost like a, a flower almost. It's kind of uh, rippled around the edges. So um, it's a very distinctive entryway to the bottle. It does have a nice long neck, so um, if you have a lot of tall friends or family members who come to visit, if you found in the past that they're always banging their heads on bottles that are too short in the opening area, uh, this one has a very long neck on it, which will accommodate even your tallest genie friends. 
Uh, there is a little less square inchage in the bottom, uh, just because it does kind of taper right out into that open spot. Um, you don't get the, the more traditional bulb like you get in some bottles, um, but it's a very elegant style. And um, this one just came on the market, so uh, the previous owner upgraded to something a little larger. Uh, she just had a family, so she wanted something that could accommodate herself and all of her little genie children. So um, it's been fully cleaned, completely blank in the interior, perfect setup for you to just go in and put in all of your um, furnishings, your couch, your bed, what have you. They'll all fit right in there. Single room. Um, is this anything that you'd be interested in? You're looking for a slightly more traditional shape in a bottle? Okay, that's no problem. We have a few of those as well. Okay, so this one you might like. This is a very traditional shaped bottle. Um, it has the medium length neck and then it just bows out into the big ball at the bottom. So it's highly traditional if that's the route you want to go. It is a glass bottle with copper overlay siding. Uh, which gives it a little extra insulation, so um, if you're going to be uh, in an area where it's going to be cold, you know, I don't know where exactly your master lives, but uh, if they're in a colder climate, this would be a good one because it is an insulated bottle. Uh, the doorway is a little bit plainer than some, you know, it's just the basic glass entryway, but um, once you get down into it, again, it really balls out into the big large room. So again, there's plenty of room for all of your furnishings and um, it's about medium on the square inch space, I would say. It's kind of a, a medium circumference here. So um, again, living alone, there should be uh, plenty of room for anything that you have you'd like to put in there while still leaving plenty of room to have friends or significant others over to entertain. You do like this shape, but the bottle's just not calling to you? Okay, well, no problem. Um, we do have, I don't know if you'd be interested, we do have that style in the uh, mini version. Uh, of course, I'm sure you've heard of the tiny bottle movement, uh, you know, just to take up less square inchage in the world. Uh, people have started going tiny. And uh, this is exactly the same model as the larger one I just showed you. However, it's um, slightly smaller in size, which means everything's a little more compact. Um, it's very cozy. You can't have quite as many friends over for um, a wild night in one of these, but uh, they do take up less space. And one of the benefits is being so few square inches, they're very easy uh, to clean. You know, even just, you know, cross your arms and blink your eyes and it gets done twice as fast as it normally does. So um, that's one of the nice features. Yeah, it is kind of adorable, isn't it? Yeah, um, all the, the mini bottles really are adorable. You think it's just a little too small though? Okay, no problem. Well, um, another one we have in the traditional style is this one. This is a solid metal bottle, so um, it's going to be very sturdy. You never have to worry about your master accidentally dropping it and shattering it. That actually happens um, more than you would think. We have a lot of people come in uh, telling us that their masters have butterfingers, drop their bottle, and then of course they have, you know, no place to go, and so they need to come in and get new bottles. You won't have to worry about that with this one because this is solid metal. It has a silver coating on the outside, so it's a nice neutral color that goes with anything, so no matter what your master's decor is, this should fit with it. And uh, this one, again, it has that medium neck, and then it just bows right out into a very large base. So. Um, this one has a little more square inchage than the previous one, so you can definitely fit all of your belongings in it, and there's plenty of room if you'd like to 
section it off on the inside to make rooms yourself. It is currently an open floor plan, so there are no rooms in it. And uh, it's just, it's a blank canvas that you can totally make your own and can easily fit all your furnishings in it and have over, you know, all your friends at one time and everyone can fit quite comfortably in here. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a little more space in a traditional bottle, one that you don't have to worry about breaking, uh, this is definitely a good one. Uh, the entryway, kind of plain, that's I guess the one drawback of this particular bottle is that the, the entryway is kind of plain. It's not like the, you know, scalloped edge of the white one that I showed you, but uh, again, very solid bottle, plenty of room, and uh, it's just a really nice purchase. You are interested in that one? Okay. Uh, well, why don't we um, wrap this up for you. Uh, we will need to do a little bit of paperwork uh, so that you can be the, the new owner of this bottle. Now you said you're paying cash. Okay, well that's perfect because that means that the only paperwork you have to sign is with the International Genie Registry so they know that you do have a bottle and we'll just uh, register this under your name so that no genie can claim use of this bottle while it is registered in your name. And of course, if you decide you want to sell it later on, you can always bring it back here and we will deregister it from your name. Um, what is uh, happening with your current bottle? Yes, will you need to be selling that or um, because we can represent you in that sale and we can also deregister it from your name. You do need it deregistered, but you are selling it yourself. Okay, well that's no problem. We can go ahead and get that deregistered for you. Um, are you selling it to uh, someone that you know, or are you just kind of putting it on the market? You're selling it to someone you know? Okay, yeah, that's no problem then. We can just deregister it for you, and uh, your friend that you're selling it to can either register it with us or with another registry in the area. Um, just as long as it is registered because you don't want it to remain registered to you, of course. Otherwise, you know, if someone finds that bottle, they will think it's yours and then your friend will be without a home, which would not be uh, enjoyable for your friend. So why don't we get this wrapped up, uh, get it registered in your name, and we'll get your other bottle deregistered so that you can get to giving that to your friend and uh, move into your new bottle, all right? Congratulations on the purchase of your new dwelling space. I hope that you're very comfortable in this bottle for many years, all right? Okay. And if you guys want to see how I made the rest of this costume, then check out my new book, Cosplaying When You're Broke, which is currently available for pre-sale. The links are in the description box.